Hello everybody, it's old Shaziz here um, doing this video a uh, little simple uh, driver circuit for uh, coils and uh, this is uh, basically a uh, heavy duty electronic alternating uh, switch there for lights but uh, while I was messing around I figured out that it had a second use for it and so I'm going to show you that real quick and uh, I will Google up the uh, number of this thing right here real good. I don't know if you can read it off the front. Arr. It's kind of blurry. Anyway, I will Google up a really good picture and a link for it so you can find them if you want them. I uh, originally bought this off of eBay. If you look down on the bottom, I don't know if you can see that on the deal, but there's a an X and a P and an L on there. And the only two that you need to use will be the X and the P, the X for your ground and the other one over, or the X and the L. And uh, you, you don't need to P for this application right here. I'll, I'll sit here and hook it up for you so you can see. And all I'm going to be driving with it is just a little um, coil that was off of an old uh, lawnmower or something. Something I had saved back some time ago. Get this up here where you can see all of it. There to do do. There we go. All right. Notice I got this coil down here, and uh, this green wire here is the power wire, and the black wire is the uh, the ground wire, which is uh, on this old style coil here, just uh, connected to the. Uh, there's a cord that goes through this coil right here, and I got this fluorescent bulb over here. So all I got to do is uh, hook my uh, negative to the battery. There's the nine volt battery. Urgh. Okay, and you notice that I get a blank going on. And I could sit here and just tap this like that. The faster I tap it, I get it going on. So if you look on this thing right here, you'll find an X, which I need to turn a light on here for a second so I can see. All right, there's the X. <coughs> you hook the uh, the black to the X there, which I'm, ass I'm assuming that that's the ground. And then you got your uh, green on your positive there. Now watch this. Yay! It's noisy as crud, but if you ever needed to light some fluorescent bulbs, uh, for emergency, I guess it would come in handy if you had one of these old buzzer coils like this. It's actually a flasher for a light. And uh, <clears throat> I got a 12 volt one here. Bunch of double A's running series. Notice there's a significant difference there. But uh, there you go noisy as heck if you can get past the noise it'll drive a coil it's driving that coil right there and I suggest uh, if you don't think that's working don't uh, grab it with your hands like I did because uh, it'll light you up <laughs> but there you go all it's doing is like Tesla flipping the knife switch you know hitting it uh, faster you hit it the more you can brighten it up that's what the transistors are doing. But uh, this is just a uh, <coughs> emergency flasher kind of run the way it ain't necessarily supposed to be run. Turned it into a buzzer coil. Hooray! Alright, no, that wasn't very exciting, but if, uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and. Uh, Stay tuned. I got some really cool stuff that I was working on. I don't want to drag it in here right now. Uh, peace and love, everybody. Take care.